Hey everyone, are your face grain inlays causing more frustration than fascination? Tired of battling chip out and glue gaps that ruin the perfect finish? Stick around, in this video we'll tackle these challenges head on with the best techniques for flawless results using Carbide Create version 8 and tapered ball nose bits. You won't want to miss this change, game changing guide. Let's get started. Okay, so in my last video I gave you the best method for creating parameters for v-carve inlays on end grain so we're going to expand upon that and show you how you can improve and remove chip out by adding just an additional tool path so we're going to start by doing our pocket side first we'll highlight our pocket and create our v-carve tool path use current and we're going to start by not running a pocket tool but instead only running the v-bit at a depth of one millimeter and what this is going to do is this is going to do an outline around the interior side of the pocket and avoid chipping out those edges we'll call this face grain underscore pocket underscore profile because we're profiling along the inside depth it's a max depth of six millimeters click on ok and that generates our tool path and now if we show simulation you'll see that it's going to go along the interior of that pocket tool path and clear out and give us the clearance for our bits to clear. Next, we'll make a secondary V-carb inlay. And again, we're going to use the current, but this time we're going to actually enable the area pocket tool and we're going to set that to a 1 8 inch end mill this time we're going to go a full depth of six millimeters plunge rate will be 400 millimeters these these are rates for my specific uh, spindle if you're using a different spindle other than the vfd spindle you might want to change these to be more appropriate for yours uh, for my feed rate it's 1016 millimeters per minute and my rpms are 19,000. So for our tapered ball nose bit, we will select our configured bit. And again, this time we're going to go our full depth pass. And we will call this face grain pocket clearance. when we generate this you'll see we now have our clearance tool for the inside so if we show our simulation on this again now we'll see that we get a fully cleared uh, pocket side and it should be a nice clear pocket Next, we'll move on, or I'm sorry, we will arrange our V carves to where our tapered ball nose bit are the first two passes, and then our eighth inch end mill is the third pass. So our profile will be first, then our clearance V, and then our clearance pocket. Next, we can go and select our plug side and we're going to create another v-carve inlay toolpath use the current selection and again we're going to start off by doing a single tool using our v-bit 
and again setting a depth of one millimeter we will click the inlay plug mode and set a plug depth of 1.25 millimeters and a top gap of 5.75 millimeters and this one we will call face grain plug profile and we'll see that creates a profile tool path around all of our tools or all around our uh, plug so now we'll take that profile and move it up to the other tapered ball nose paths so that it clears them all first as the tapered ball nose and then our eighth inch bit and then I'm going to create one more v-carb inlay this time enabling the pocket area tool and we're going to select a 1 8 inch end mill make our full depth on that seven millimeters plunge rate of 400 millimeters per minute and a feed rate of 1016 millimeters per minute and an rpm of 19,000. and again those are tailored to my vft spindle you can adjust those as you need to so our start depth will be 1.25 millimeters and our i'm sorry our plug depth will be 1.25 millimeters our top gap will be 5.75 millimeters and this is an inlay plug mode and we'll name this one face grain plug clearance and that will generate our tool paths and if we show a simulation we'll see that we first get our uh, single v-bit pass and then that gets followed up with our 1 8 inch end mill to clean everything up and at this point we're ready to go to the cnc and get it cut So now we'll go ahead and do a dry fit on the pocket and plug and make sure that they're going to fit. And then in this case, I'm going to glue this up and then we'll cut the top off and show you the end result. So as we can see, the end result of this is looking pretty good. We have a very good glue up with a fairly indistinguishable glue line. 
In this video, I showed you how to best resolve the issue with glue gaps and chip out on face grain V-carve inlays using Carbide Create version 8. I hope you found this information in this video to be useful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel for future content and updates. In the meantime, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.